Hey everybody, Bill the Hall of Fame Collector here. Another video. I've been trying to do baseball, then basketball, then baseball, then basketball since I'm uh, a little far behind on the basketball stuff. Um, so hopefully some people are watching this, some people are interested. If not, oh well. Um, I am doing the Hall of Fame uh, stuff, so um, a lot of new names here and there. Uh, this first set of items here, um, these are all doubles, uh, upgrades or for sets. So I already have a Dominique Wilkins. Um, this is actually for the... Um, the Flawless Association set I'm doing. Um, got that at the National. Um, next one here, same set. Uh, Grand Hill, again, these are all on cards. Beautiful cards. I love the hollow foil. Um, and uh, again, um, these guys, uh, I already did their spiel with the whole intro and information, so I don't need to do it here. Paul Endicott, it's a check, dated July 18th, 1988. Um, that's uh, my sister's birthday, the day she was born, so I had to get it. Um, next one here, I already have an index card. I already did the whole, did the whole thing. Uh, it's Edward Stites. This is a, uh, like an envelope. Um, uh, it's a really, you know, a highly coveted uh, form of, uh, autograph. Uh, next one here is an on card for chronology of Maurice Cheeks, new hall of famer. Um, this set's highly coveted. The other one I had was, uh, like a leaf metal card. So I like this one better. I might sell the other one. Last one here is uh, government postcards, my favorite. The date of 1951 on back, it's Ed McCauley. Um, I think the other one I have is a press steel, um, but uh, very cool card, uh, cool uh, item. Now, 13 new Hall of Famers for the PC. First time showing these names off. Um, again, you won't know really who these people are, but bear with me, you'll learn something. First one here, 1959. First year of the Hall of Fame as a contributor, Oswald Tower, born 1883, died 1968. Uh, served the uh, National Basketball Rules Committee, 1910 to 1960. Editor of the Basketball Guide and Rules Interpreter from 1950 to 1960. Bunch of other odds and ends. Uh, basically a contributor. Uh, next is uh, William Pop Gates, 1917 to 1999. Class of 89 is a forward. Started professional career at Harlem Renaissance seven months before Jackie Robinson in Major League Baseball. Eight-time tournament All-Pro, two-time world professional champ. Um, while on the team, the Rens, he won 68 straight. Um, so um, good to get a, a player. Uh, next is Frank Keeney, uh, 1886 to 1967. Uh, class of 1960, he's a coach. 401 and 124 records a basketball coach 1920 to 1948 he coached uh college baseball and football as well and he's the architect of the run and shoot and inventor of the fast break next we have eddie gottlieb uh if i'm pronouncing that right 1898 to 1979 class of 71 is a contributor known as mr basketball or the mogul uh First coach slash manager of the Warriors. Rookie of the Year award is named after him. Uh, he headed the Rules Committee for 25 years in charge of scheduling for three decades. Also worked with the Globetrotters. Uh, and he helped implement the 24-second shot clock. Next, Arthur Schleybringer. This guy is kind of tough to get. 1889-1972, class of 61 as a contributor. College coach for 20 years, uh, winning nearly 80%. One of the founders of the National Association of Basketball Coaches, president 1932. Uh, he is credited for the first forward pass in college history in football. Next, uh, Fuzzy Vanderveer, uh, 1903 to 1983, class of 75, is a guard, high school and college player in the 20s. He led the Franklin Wonder Five to an 89-9 record and three state championships, all state player three times. All right, and that's an index card. Next one is Everett Dean, 1898 to 1993, class of 66 coach. Uh, 21 of his 29 seasons were uh, winning seasons, 1942 NCAA champion, won 375 games. Um, and I'm going to skip right to the next one after this Everett Dean while it keeps going. So Larry O'Brien is next, 1917 to 1990. You guys should hear about him. I've heard about him. Uh, class of 91 contributor, there he is. Uh, third commissioner of base basketball, 1975 to 1984, Democratic strategist for 20 years. Uh, the NBA championship trophy is named after him. Uh, he directed the ABA, NBA merger, expanded leagues from 18 to 23 teams, and NBA's richest contract, uh, TV contract. He introduced the salary cap, salary cap and adopted the three-pointer. 
Um, needed a little extra time. Next one, uh, Benny Borgman, 1900 1978. Class of 61 is a guard. Considered one of the best offensive players of his era. Played for 17 years uh, with 15 scoring titles. Again, uh, not an easier guy to get here. Um, you're almost exclusively going to see them signing uh, index cards. Next one here is one of the hardest ones I have here. Renato William Jones, 1906 to 1981, class of 64, contributor, advocate of international basketball and worldwide competition. He created the International Amateur Basketball Federation, uh, FIBA, um, and general secretary, 1932 1976. Spread basketball to 130 nations, including Olympics. Uh, that one was very tough. Next one, Fred Taylor, not as uh, hard to get, 1924. To 2002, uh, class of 86 coach, Ohio State coach, 1959 to 1976. 1960 NCAA champ, two-time finalist, 297 career uh, wins. He coached Jerry Lucas, John Havlicek, Bobby Knight. Um, again, uh, index card. Next, we have Tony Hinkle, 1888 to 1992, class of 65, contributor. Uh, as a basketball coach, 560 wins. For football, 183 wins. Uh, two-time MVC, seven-time Indiana Collegiate. Instrumental in ending the jump ball at every basketball um, rule and introduced the three-second rule, developed the Hinkle system. Uh, next is Ernest Schmidt. This is the last one here. 1911 to 1986, class of 74, forward slash center. Considered one of the best players of his time. Scored 1,000 points in college career. Led the team to 47 straight wins and four consecutive conference titles. Another guy that's not the easiest to get. Index card, uh, usually the medium uh, he signs. Uh, so there you go, 13 Hall of Famers and six uh, pickups. Thanks for watching, guys.